Hey guys, I got go boys here, and today we're gonna be working on my go kart. So we're gonna actually be ripping this a little bit later tonight. We might throw that footage in as long as it's not too dark. And obviously, as you can see, it is very muddy out there. We have a little racetrack. It is currently right now a little bit of mud, or well, quite a bit of mud on one side, and rather dry on the other side. Yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure that's right. Yeah. So it's pretty. It's a small little track for now but it's kind of fun. Um, some of the other boys might be coming over and ripping their stuff too. But I want to take the go-kart out today just because I really like, you know, low down, not very easy to flip, has a seatbelt, you know, kind of holds you in there because when you're constantly trying to turn, it's kind of throwing you around. And, you know, if I blow something up, it ain't too major to fix. So I'm going to run this. She's also just a lot of fun. You can see she's kind of made for it. She's good for the track. So I just want to do a little bit of a tune-up. We're going to do just a quick few things just to get her you know kind of good to run again and then we're gonna rip her so just real quick can do like an oil change um so you can see i actually took her out belts kind of toast a lot of play in there so we'll throw a new belt on there lubricate the chain and unfortunately it is time to get rid of the notorious hand throttle for once i finally ordered a foot throttle cable so we will be putting that on as well this worked well it was actually it was a lot of fun using my hand we may bring it back later but for just kind of cruising around this isn't bad but when you're really aggressively driving and trying to corner and stuff it kind of hits your legs and whatnot and there's one time actually just today um i was turning a corner and i had it full throttle all the way back and it actually got stuck on my leg here so as i was turning i could not let off the throttle so that was kind of a fun time but other than that let's get her going so we can have some fun tonight And if you are wondering why the heck I did have a hand throttle, it was actually because um, I don't really stock um, throttle cables. That's what it's called, trying to think of the name. And I actually had it where we were going to rip these. It was a nice day out. Uh oh. Oh, no, I could do that. Ha <laughs> ha. But it was an absolutely beautiful day out, and we were going to go rip, and it's actually the throttle cable snapped. So we tried hot gluing it, zip tying everything, because we really wanted to rip. We had a few people over. Didn't work, so I ended up taking, I think it was from a bicycle. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a bicycle brake cable. And yeah, took it on here and uh, slapped it on. But look at this. Perfect length, I think. Yeah, so we'll run this under here. It's gonna be so weird actually having a good throttle for once. Cool. Oh yeah, that needed it. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. There we go, nice little tune up. Now it's time to take her out and rip her.
come with toy and sing to the left. Uh oh. She's dying. So I'd say she worked pretty well. Look at that stance. She is stanced out. All right, cool. Muddy as all get out. As you can tell, my face is covered. The camera's probably covered. I don't even know if you can see this. Here, let's do a little. There you go. That was probably loud. But this is covered. I'm um, covered. Go karts covered. Paul here's covered. <laughs> this is worse. There's just globs of it. But we had a good time. Unfortunately, the typical uh, problem of having this kind of area. Yeah, as you can see, it is muddy. It is a lot of fun, I love it. You drift it, you get a little bit, as you saw, a little bit of wet here. So you gotta learn to drift it, you know, control it. Then you also got some real nice dry that you grip up over there. And there's actually one spot right there, you actually have a bump on the inside corner, so it's really tough, because it wants to push you over. As I think you might see on the camera, please don't throw that at me, no. Belt is honestly a lot more held up than, than I thought chain is good it's just as you guys heard we'll probably fire up again i'm pretty sure the engine shot so these guys they actually do have oil sensors in there and they basically have a low oil shut off as you can see we disconnect them and it's for a good reason um yeah isn't that like a meme i feel like that's video there's no gas i cussed when there's some with oil but whatever um what was i saying oh but we disconnect I got a little one. No what? Actually, oh no. No. <laughs> so she worked nice. Chain's still good, everything else good. We're gonna, 100%, we're running this thing till it freezes or it blows up. Do not care, we'll probably actually check the oil. So we disconnected, they have them like, okay, if you put this on like, I don't know, a mini bike or a log split or something, a generator, I don't know, whatever you put it on. Basically, if you ever don't have enough oil or whatever, it doesn't start, doesn't run, whatnot. Well, we always, we do check the oil a lot on these, but the problem is, is when you're hitting these kind of corners and you're sideways, all the oil slaps to one side and it'll actually kill the engine just because that sensor doesn't sense any oil. And it can be sometimes, I before I even disconnected it, um, I took even just some mild turns and it would shut off. So obviously that doesn't work on this kind of stuff. You do end up ruining the engine, but it's all part of it. So other than that, I had a great time. We'll definitely be back out here to finish this thing off. Yeah, we gotta fix this, fam. All right, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.